Here we go. Summer fun. Natty Ice, bro. Instant games with minimal effort. You guys had absolutely shit face last night. Super impressive. Welcome back to Hot Boy Summer, everybody. We are no longer at Sandy Peaks. We are no longer on the mist, on the mist, in the mist. We are no longer on the island or in the chute. We are at the bottom of the ocean, getting ready to go through what might be a treacherous kelp forest. Nobody all knows. I, all I know is we name in some turtles and that's chill as fuck. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah, dude. It's chill. And I'm here with my four slightly tipsy, slightly high guys. And I have to admit, I am having some, a very wonderful time. Some quality players. All right. For survival checks. You said you everyone, got it too? Everyone? Everyone, no, please no. give me one survival check. Oh, we all have to roll survival. Yeah, everyone rolls a survival Come check. Come on, Kaylee Dice. Natural two. Natural two? <laughs> Yo, I just realized I'm good at survival, bro. Okay. Oh, shit. Natural 19 for 21. 19? Oh, God. Mine, mine comes to a total of five. Five? <laughs> Got a 20. Nat- natural 17. Natural 17. Natural 17. Natural 17. 21 total. Hey! 21. Okay, guys. Good group check. Except for me. Except for <laughs> our dear friend yeah, Levi. Levi. Who at the very beginning, you guys are going through the forest and you're you're clumped together and you're feeling great. And then all of a sudden, Levi, your turtle sees something cool in the kelp and just whoop, takes off in the other direction and you are separated from the group. We'll get back and I to can't, you. Yeah, I can't yell at all because it's like... Nope. Blah, 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 blah. Nope. You are submerged in this beautiful kelp. We will get back to you in a second, I promise. Out of BT, Skylar, and Keanu, one of you please roll a d20 for me. Who's going to roll it? I got it, bro. Did we get any modifiers, DM? There are no modifiers. This is technically a luck check. Well, then definitely Alex, so we can blame him when it sucks. (laughs) I usually look to you for these kind of things, bro. Don't fuck this up, Alex. 13? 13. (laughs) So your turtles are taking the dash action for you. They're going 60 feet through the kelp. You three emerge. This is Skylar, BT, and Keanu. Into a clearing in the kelp. And you see in the center of it, a brine puddle, thick and full of like briny, liquidy kelp type substance. It's about 10 feet wide, 10 feet radius, just 10 feet, 10 feet, 10 feet. In the center of this brine puddle is a potion. And I'm just going to say off the top of my head, you all recognize this. This is a greater restoration potion atop this pedestal. And that's all you see. Skylar, Keanu, that potion is like, it's like pretty useful, bro. Do you think we risk it, bro? Hell yeah, man. <laughs> BT, you're going to risk it for the biscuit, bro? There's only one choice, bro. Do it, man. Does anyone have any, like, should we rope it in or what? How should we get it? I think. Wait, do you say it's 10 feet? 10 dude, feet by 10 feet by 10 feet. Dude, bro, just grab my legs. I'm going to dive, and then you pull <laughs> when I grab the potion. Just like a human chain, like down on top of it, and then pull. Bro. Keanu, I got you, bro. I'll grab your leg, man. Keanu, bro. Remember Raiders, Raiders of the Lost Ark, bro. Here. And I hand him the mason jar that has the mushrooms in it. And I say... <laughs> You gotta replace it with this, bro, because it might be triggered by weight if there's a trap. 
Okay. Okay, bro. So just take the potion and quick put the other one, even though how does how does weight work underwater, man? Does it Bro, right now? <laughs> don't even worry about it. Sometimes I get too deep in my head, man. I like contemplate the meaning of life, but I will do what you say. I hold the jar and I'm like, all right, grab my legs. You ready, Skylar? Let's do it, Keanu. I like run on the ground and just vault and hope that Skylar like grabs my legs. Oh, and- I catch him. I oh. catch him. Both Skylar and Keanu are over the brine puddle. Is that what I'm getting? Yeah. And then oh, I'm going to yes. fall down and grab it and replace it. And then before you go there, I need both Skylar and Keanu to make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yes. Plus four on con. Real dice. Real this, dice. Uh, 14 15. plus one. 15. 15. You both got 15. You lucky yeah. sons of bitches. Natural. <laughs> DC was 14. Natural DC was 14. 15. Oh. As well, it's not that great. So as you reach across this brine puddle to grab your greater restoration potion, tendrils of seaweed spike out from the ground and wrap around your bodies and begin to cast blight. It is sucking out your moisture. It is sucking out your life force. You each take 15. So we're going to (laughs) say seven damage (laughs) as it sucks out your life force. (laughs) (laughs) And as soon as they're done, the tendrils suck back into the ground. The greater restoration potion is still there, but each of you takes seven damage. Ow, man. Oh, dude. Necrotic. Shit. That like sucked the life force out of me. That was like my, that, that was like my girlfriend before Trinity when I used to like hang out and man, it would, yeah, she was a piece of shit. All right, bros, bros. I take full responsibility. That was on me. I agree. That was completely your fault. How could you let us do that, man? <laughs> I just, I, I thought BT, it was. BT, you're a real piece of shit. Whoa, whoa. BT didn't, he would never mean to put anyone in harm, man. He BT. just said he did. I, I thought it would be good, bro. I thought it would be good. I apologize. Yeah. I, di- I can't think of these things. It's BT's fault that I did it. And I like go down like on top of my turtle shell into like a kneel bow. And I, I use a bonus action to hit the cloak so it like billows <laughs> epically <laughs> while I apologize. Oh man, I can't stay mad at you, BT. You're cool, man. Gross. I think we just need to drink. All right. We're going to get Carl. We're here. Hey, bro, and we, we got this. Carl. We got this sweet. You're not potion. there. I BT. Know, but, like, we need Carl. <laughs> BT, you should take this. Fellas. Fellas, I can literally cast that spell. One of you should take it. Hey, guys, where the hell is Levi? <laughs> Holy shit, bro. <laughs> As you say that, we will cut over to Levi. Who has the greater restoration spell, please? Uh, I guess I have it, unless you want it, Skylar. Oh, you can have it, Keanu. It's all right. All right, man. Levi. Yes, ma'am. You are separated from your boys. You are completely alone in the kelp forest with no one but, what's your turtle's name? Arg, to keep you company. <laughs> Fuck never you, alone. I'm never alone. I've got a I've got a god above me. Please roll a D20. Ooh. In that... person or in the game. Bro. Oh no, we're actually gonna see oh, it. We're, we're going to the dice cam. Ten. Oh, so ten? That's a ten. I'm gonna have a dice cam in the future. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways. Oh no. Yeah, that's a ten. 
<clears throat> you and your turtle are making your way through the mist. No, not the mist, the kelp forest. Sorry. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh my God. go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, I'm listening. Uh, uh, I'm, listening. Gone, I'm listening. I'm <laughs> listening. Go ahead. Are you sure? Okay. I'm listening. You make your way through the kelp forest. Yes. And you find a clearing. There's going to be a lot of clearings in this. I feel okay. weird talking to nothing. It's okay. Um, and this clearing is flooded with what looks like a blue mist, somewhat similar to the mist at the ceiling or at the top of the ocean, but different, a little more light. As you swim through this mist, I need mm-hmm. you to make me an intelligent saving throw. Oh, an intelligence saving. Well, that's not good with my character sheet. But I'll <laughs> I try. believe in you, Levi. I believe <laughs> Levi. But I'm going to do it. Dude, you remember when you got that tutor last summer, bro? <laughs> <laughs> that tutor did not work at all. Because, like, with my modifier, that's a six. It's a nat three, Ooh, bro. buddy. <laughs> <laughs> nat three. It's a nat three. Oh, buddy. It's a natty three. Oh, buddy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. So you're swimming through, and all of a sudden, you get these really nasty thoughts in your head. You think, Uh-oh. man, <laughs> is that called new? depression? Where, Levi, where are my guys? Why did they leave me? You know what? I think they were just lying the whole time. Oh my God. There's no one else I can trust but myself. And okay, that's not terrible. For one minute, only one minute, you disagree with everything anyone around you says, and you think that everyone around you is lying, and that's you're the only there's one that knows no the one truth. around me. <laughs> It's For a one great minute. thing there's no one around me. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty that's, damn lucky. So I'm just like very I'm very depressed right now. It's yeah. like it's like a hangover, but like without like the physical feels. That's it's just basically like, depression. I'm a bad person. <laughs> mm, I hate well, my... we do that. <sighs> Let's go ahead, everybody, and make another round of survival checks, please. All of us? Everybody. Let me know what you get. 18 for BT. Beautiful. 13. 13? I got a seven. Seven? Oh no. Oh no, is right. <laughs> Bro. What? Bro, don't move your camera. Last time it didn't work. Natural 20 is oh! pretty good, Joe. Natural 20. Hmm, Everyone take a drink. Everyone take a drink. Everyone take a drink. My white clothes gone. <laughs> You drink water then. <laughs> All right. Luke, your dice camera is so disorienting. Hey, I'm really working is. on it. I'm working on it. I've got I'm get, now Alex worry. has to redo the camera. Oh my god. No, no, I, I can reset it. Anyways, that nice was a nat twenty. Beautiful. Yeah. So you all are together for like 0.5 seconds. Levi comes bursting through the woods and you're like, oh my god, Levi. And as Skylar and Keanu turn to freak out. Your turtles take off in two separate directions into the kelp, and you are separated from the group. Steve, where are we going, bro? We're going to start with BT and Levi. You two, please make me a random d20 roll. Just one person. Who's going to do it? Who's rolling a 20? Either BT or Levi. Dibs. BT, do I got you? Natural 19. Alex is frozen. Oh, there he goes. Am I frozen or was I I just standing incredibly still? You really (laughs) were. I rolled a natural 19. I rolled a a natural 19. Okay. You rolled a 20 and a 19? I just rolled a 20 and a 19. Yes. Dude. Natty ice. <laughs> Natty, Natty, ice. Ice. Natty. And here's to the JMO. Okay. I need both Alex, wake up, and Luke to make um, another luck check, please. Luck? Luck. You don't add anything to it. Just give me a luck check. Oh, so it's a, it's a 20. Okay. Copy. You rolled a 20? 
Dude, honestly, Sorry. Levi, Levi getting lucky is like kind of hard. 17, to... y'all. 17. Okay. 20, a three on mine. You two. I rolled a nine or Beautiful. twenty, a nineteen, and a seventeen. <laughs> you two are swimming through. You come across not a clearing, but you see something. Levi, you see something tangled up in one of the pieces of kelp, and as you go to check out what it is, you see an old spell book tied around the seaweed. You open it up and realize that it once belonged to a mighty wizard who developed the power to give someone the ability to cast a cantrip. You can now choose from one of the following three to learn. Spare the dying, minor illusion, or firebolt. Oh, it's only me? Yeah, yeah. Spare, the you, dying. Bro? spare the dying. Spare you the dying. Spare 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 the dying. Easy. Add it Easy. to your character sheet, please. You now know the kinship. Yes, spare Luke. the dying. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. We're now going to move to Skylar. <sighs> Skylar, you are in the kelp forest all by yourself. Gross. Steve, come on, man. We got to get back to the group, man. Go ahead and roll me a d20. Ah, the hell, Steve? Either on the computer or in person. Natural 20. <laughs> did you really? Natty ice, bro. You didn't natty ice, did you? I cannot believe you just rolled a nat 20 when you're by you yourself. You rolled a nat 20 for real? Yeah, he did. Dude, it's, it, look on it's, roll 20. It's on roll 20. Oh, shit, I didn't look at I that. I cannot <laughs> fucking believe you did that. I was on okay. multiple screens, okay? <laughs> You, son of a bitch, are <laughs> you all of a sudden in front of your turtle, a little otter swims out, but doesn't look like an otter you've ever seen. He's wearing a red cloak with silver stars on it, and he's got a pointy purple hat with stars on it, and he goes, Oh, oh hi, what are you doing in here? Fancy otter, bro. I'm lost. What are you doing in here? Oh, I'm the spirit of the forest. You can just call me spirit. Oh, oh you're lost? Spirit, I am lost. But what about you? <laughs> oh, I'm not lost. This is my forest. Oh, but do you need do you need some help, buddy? I I do need help. I need okay. to find my friend Carl. You need to find Carl? Oh. <laughs> I can't really help you find him, but I can help you. <laughs> and he reaches into How do I his get little, out of here? He reaches into his little oh. otter cloak and he pulls out a scroll and he whips it. And oh, oh hold on, let me see that? what I wrote. <laughs> What is that, Mr. Otter? Okay, no, actually, I'm wrong. I'm sorry, I, I worded this incorrectly. The otter reaches into her cape and pulls out a scroll and hands it to you. So this right here is a scroll. It's called Mordenkainen's Magnificent Mansion. <laughs> what? Uh, so, <laughs> so at any time you can activate this and it'll let you hang out in the mansion for eight hours. Basically, you get to take a long rest. And the cool part about this is that I designed it so that when you're in there, known time passes out here. So basically you just get to take a long rest and get everything back. It's pretty dope. Oh shit. Wow. Oh, spirit, spirit. But uh, totally. can we can we party in there? Absolutely. You can use it now or you can use it whenever, basically. You've just got it. But oh, be careful. My... Is there a <laughs> bar in there? Like a mini uh, bar at least? Here's the thing. You can kind of make whatever you want. Literally anything you can imagine will appear. <laughs> anything I can anything imagine. You can imagine. Anything. Here, you take oh, this. God. And she hands you the scroll. And then she grabs your hand and she goes, follow me. And she pulls you through the kelp forest and she leads you back to BT and Levi. <laughs> and she drops you off and she says, well, it was nice to meet you, buddy. I hope you find your friend. Good luck. You too, spirit. Peace <laughs> out. She 
takes off into the forest. BT, <laughs> Levi, what's up, bro? Skylar, where did you come from, bro? bro. Oh my god, I don't even know, man. Where's Keanu at, bros? We get we lost him, bro. Oh fuck, we can't bro. lose another bro, bro. We need to we find him. Lose. We need to we need to take a rest. Trust me, guys. We need to take a rest soon, probably. Moving on to Keanu. Bro, I got so <laughs> many oh things God. before our rest. And I, I hand a, I hand a jug over to uh, to Skylar. A jug oh of this God. uh this magical liquid being like bro. Oh, now I got two of these, bro. Thanks, bro. Bro, you haven't even drank your first, but let's fucking go. We'll go in a minute. All right now we're gonna go to Keanu. Keanu. Go ahead and roll me a d20, please. Just straight? Just straight. Natural five. Natural five. <laughs> Shot time. <laughs> Oh, he's got the bottle. That's a that's a half full bottle of Jaeger there, Mister Polly. That is getting there. <laughs> that is <a> half full <laughs> wow! Oh. Thank you, D and D. Okay. Thank you, Hot Boy Summer. Bro. Thank you, Hot <laughs> Boy Summer. Welcome. Hot Keanu. Heat. Please you. stay in the chat if you want to see more Hot Boy Summer Wednesdays. Keanu. You are swimming through the forest when you come across a clearing, of course, and you see a swirling school of rainbow colored fish, their scales just reflecting off the seaweed across the lights, their hypnotic patterns drawing you in. I need you to make a DC 15 wisdom save. I love when the DM calls out the uh, the check. 15. Just that DC 15. Yeah. DC 15, baby. Makes it more epic. All right. I have plus two. Fucking 14. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I, I rolled a 12 plus two. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh. No, that means a fail. That means fail. You... That's a fail. That's so, a... as oh, you're yeah. looking at it this was fish, one away. <laughs> your mind just ro- your eyes roll into the back of your head, and you just become absolutely enthralled. You take three psychic damage, and for the next eighteen minutes, your personal speed is halved. Your turtle speed is fine, but for the next 18 minutes, if you were to lose your turtle, your speed would be halved. I'm going to say 18 minutes will probably last you through the entire kelp forest, so don't lose your turtle, my man. Oh, God. Trinity, don't let go. Get us through this. (laughs) You're like a movie buff. (laughs) All right, everybody. Let's do another survival check, please. Wait, do we find each other? Uh, this survival check will determine if you do or not. Oh, fuck. oh man. Mine Come is on, three plus three, and I'm going to roll a natural 18. Okay. Plus three, 21. Natural 14. 14? 17. 17. <clears throat> 14. Oh, that, you, know what, you know what, Mr. Bradley? That's a, that's a cheers. Did I hear anybody else? 14 seven. for BT. That is total. And did I hear a seven for Keanu? Yeah, you did. <laughs> oh man, you guys both suck tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do. <clears throat> You're terrible people. <laughs> All righty. BT and Keanu separated from the group. Keanu continuously, BT, your turtle probably sees something shiny, or you swear to God, you see the most delightful kush you've ever seen growing on one of these pieces of, of kelp and you take off <laughs> that, that Levi and Skyler right Levi and Skyler you are together please one of you roll a d20 one of you too <laughs> one of you I would like a camera I would like a camera action on this person are you rolling a d20 yes or please I, you are no idea what you were doing Brad Natural ice. One. 
<laughs> natural Did you really just get a natural one? Natural bush light. Okay, my dudes. Oh, this is a problem with the with the the. Okay, I get it. I need to pull something up. It's okay because no branding technically. <laughs> we ain't sponsored. <laughs> but if Bush Light would like to sponsor us, hey, we're the Emerald Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> you and your turtles are speeding through the forest. You're trying to find your friends. You hit this giant rock, and your turtles do a very sharp, sideways, almost 90 degree turn to avoid it. BT, no, sorry, Levi. Your turtle is taking the lead, and its fin swipes across a long, buried glyph. I need both of you and your turtles, which I will do now, to make a con saving throw. Okay, Brad, you're fine. (laughs) Thank you. I appreciate that. (laughs) Levi, how many hit points do you currently have? Uh, 32. It's never a good question. Levi, you're... <laughs> no, like, well, I've never had that question. <laughs> Levi, the DMs you go... never asked me that. <laughs> you go down to 16. Okay. Your hit points are cut in half. Oh, fuck. As well as the hit points <laughs> yes, of your Yes, ma'am. <laughs> 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 oh, no. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Both of your turtles look very hurt. This sucks. <laughs> Your hit points are doubled. Congratulations. <laughs> hey, actually, I'm being very nice here because originally this was supposed to put you down to one hit point. Put me there. Put me there. I dare you. All right. You're down to one. I'm now one hit point. <laughs> Do I it. challenged the DM and I regret it immediately. I'm at one hit point. I'm fine. Hey, hey Luke. Fine. I'm <laughs> fine. Hey, Luke. Fine. Challenge right. the DM. You won't. <laughs> don't challenge this yeah. dm she is a she is the only girl in this group she's got to prove herself Dude, i'm at it one is, hit point <laughs> it really goes harder than brad or paul would it's great but i do with a smile on my face wood. and i'm willing it. to compromise i'm like yes ma'am <laughs> bt uh. <laughs> solo swimmer please roll me a luck check a 17 a 17 Keanu is having another existential crisis trying to think of a 290-sided (laughs) deck. Okay. You, BT, are swimming along when you come across a clearing in which you see a ginormous clam the size of probably a bed is sitting with its shell open and in the middle of the shell is a beautiful pearl of power which you know off the top of your head will allow you to regain one spell slot pearl and my friends i am very sorry (laughs) but i have to try and take you you are too powerful for me to leave on the side of the road as you reach for your pearl, I need you to make me a strength check. DC 18. Oh, God. <laughs> I have a minus one. <laughs> bro, you, you got really this, bro. You got I, this, bro. As I reach out, I would like to pause and cast guidance upon myself. You're more I would than like to give to. my inspiration to him. You don't have an inspiration. I took it away. <laughs> oh, really? Is that how you worked that? You literally took it away? <laughs> I don't think I ever oh. actually gave it to you. You did. Did I? I'm going to relook at the footage. It's true. Pre stream. I don't think I did. Pre stream. Pre- it, it, was- it was pre stream, so there were no witnesses. <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> this is bullshit. There were no witnesses. <laughs> Come on, baby. Timora would be good to me. 
even uh, with a 4 on my d4, it would only be a 16. 16. But if you roll a d4 for inspiration. <laughs> okay, I've got some good news for you. You are not trapped within the clam. I've got some bad news for you. You take 11 damage. As when you reach for your pearl of power, the clam slams onto your upper half of your body and you are crushed within it. But you are able to grab the pearl and wiggle your way out. You now have the pearl of power and using your oh. action, you can regain a spell slot. Holy shit. Bro! All right, we will now move on to Keanu, my friend. You are by yourself in the woods. Oh, shit. <laughs> 20, please. Haley, you're very scary. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> 15, yep. Okay, this is pretty simple. You are, you pass by a small clearing in the kelp not like on the floor, but like some of the kelp has just been like cut away and stuck and tangled within some of the spare pieces of kelp. You see a wand <sighs> and you reach out and grab it and you recognize it to be a wand of control water. You have one charge that will allow you to cast control water. How often can I have this charge? Once. There's one left. The swan looks beat up and almost destroyed, but you can probably get one good use out of it. And it will never come back? Never. All right. Good job, Trinity. I knew you wouldn't let go of me. Let's continue forward like we were meant to. <laughs> I go back. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, guys. We've got two more rounds of this left. Go ahead and make me a survival check. All of us? Everybody. Natural one for Natural BT. One. I know. Where are you guys going, man? So, okay. so it's 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 We're supposed to stick together. Where's all my friends? It's bad right now. It's, it's not great. Y'all are on your own. If you run into something bad that might leave you stuck, you are in trouble. We're gonna start with BT, and I'm gonna try to zoom through these as quickly as possible. BT, go ahead and roll me a d20. A ten. Okay. Huh, interesting. Oh, I love it when the DM says interesting. <laughs> As you zoom through the forest, separated from your friends, trying desperately to find them, what you do come across <laughs> quite suddenly is a full-ass sunken ship at the bottom of the ocean, like a pirate ship, like a legit pirate ship, fully underwater. Loot very good that condition. shit. Loot that shit. Sitting on top of the ship, in the in the um, crow's nest, you see the ghost of an old sailor who looks down at you and says, "Hey, get in here and explore my ship. It's totally safe. I promise. Nothing bad's gonna happen to you. Totally good." Do I believe this old sailor? Make a DC con uh, fifteen con saving throw for me. A con. Then we'll save. see if you do. A okay. Con save. An eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Even being near this ship, you start feeling a little bit lightheaded. But you're able to get over it. You don't think something good's going to happen if you go into the ship. Nor do you think that that tingly feeling you just got was a necessarily good thing. You don't think you should be here. <laughs> Bro, I appreciate what you are trying <laughs> to do. Because, like... You got to do your, your duty, right? <laughs> but I think this time, I will pass, bro. And I I hope you have future luck, you know, ensnaring un, uh, unwary passers-by in the kelp forest, bro. And you don't I know what you're missing. You don't know what you're missing. And I continue on my way. Very good. You have avoided the sailor's tongue, salty sailor's tongue. You could only speak in lies for the next half an hour if you had failed that check. <laughs> Levi. 
D20 for me, please. Yeet. Yeet it up. A natural nine. Ooh, we haven't had this one before. But an American Eagle t-shirt, that's like at least a plus four. No. (laughs) (laughs) I tried. (laughs) I tried. Levi. Yes, ma'am. Your turtle, for some reason, starts to slow down. You're not totally sure why. But you start to feel it. This feeling of utter sadness just starts washing over you and as you continue to go forward you come across this clearing and in the center is a rock and on the top of the rock is a flower it looks pretty kind of like a sunflower but instead of being yellow and colorful it's black and brown and red with a little bit of a black eeriness weaving away off the top okay I need you to make a DC 14 wisdom save for me. All right. I can do that. DC 14. 14. Bebop, you got this, bro. I don't, bro. That's a natural aid. As you're in this clearing, you suddenly get bombarded by visions of your greatest fear. (laughs) Would you please explain to the group what what you think Levi's greatest fear would be. My greatest fear is half empty beers. Strain <laughs> across an entire beach. It is it is an ocean of going down to Cancun, but the beach is nothing but half full curse lights. Curse lights everywhere. Not Up the half down. full curse light. There is so many curse lights. Like I can deal with dead soldiers, but no dead bullets. There's dead soldiers, not uh-huh. dead bullets. And there's so like, it's just a, it, it's a minefield. Beautiful. I love that. That's was terrifying to listen to. And you take. <laughs> you deserve <laughs> more than this. You oh, what? More, what? You only take one psychic damage. He's I'm at one hit now. point. I'm dead now. You're down. You're unconscious. I'm dead now. The death save begin. <laughs> Hold on. We have advantage here. The advantage is that you are attached to a sea turtle who is trying to find its friends. So, so I'm, I'm going being to have dragged a dead and alive through the ocean. <laughs> I will make and you make that the tears, uh... <laughs> The next survival check we make, I am going to have you make a death saving throw. Thankfully, it's going to be our last one. You it's not died. likely you're going to die, but you could. The curse. Oh. <laughs> 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 so i roll or you roll <laughs> oh levi you're no you're done levi we'll cut to you next skylar good work go ahead and roll me a d20 please 14 haven't had that one <laughs> okay as you are floating <laughs> through the kelp forest, and as Luke tries to fix his camera, thank you. Um, <laughs> you come across again a little clearing, and you see a cute, you know, little garden, a cute little, it looks like someone's little abode, and you see a tiny little hermit crab just kind of going to work. And the hermit crab looks up at you and says, Oh, hi, how are you? Oh, hello, little crab. What are you doing here? Oh, no, I'm just gardening. Would you like some jerky? Jerky? What kind of jerky? I make it out of the shrimp. It's shrimp jerky? Yeah. Oh, thanks, little crab. I'd love some. And he hands you some shrimp jerky. Okay, well, be safe. The Cal Forest is a little dangerous. Well, what are you gardening, little crab? Uh, Onions. (laughs) <laughs> i got attacked by onion earlier oh these are underwater onions don't worry they don't attack people they're just peaceful onions yeah do you want one 
honestly, their reputation for me has been ruined probably forever. <laughs> oh, then you don't have to have one. Okay. It's okay. They're not for everybody. So do you know how to get out of this place? <laughs> have you seen my friend Carl? Uh, no, I haven't seen anybody. But if you keep going that way for like one more round, you should get out. Just one more round? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Good luck, friends. Bye. Bye. Keanu, my man. Oh, shit. D20, please. <laughs> BT, where are you? Natural seven. Seven? Okay. You swim through, and you find once more, not you personally, because your speed is halved, but your turtle, <laughs> finds tied to some kelp, you find an old, tattered bag. I need you to roll me one d4. Three. Three. Okay. Inside the bag are three potions. I need you to roll me 1d4 three times. It's okay if you get the same number. Holy shit. Three times. Three. Three. Two. Inside the bag is one potion of greater healing and two potions of flying. <gasps> I'll send you the details for the potion of flying. Congratulations. That's a really, really good one. It's a really good roll. I will grab those potions and say, Trinity, forward, onward. You go. And now for the very final time, everyone, please make a survival roll. All right, BT and Keanu, you two are together. Congratulations, you found each other in the kelp. BT! Keanu, bro, I thought you were gone, bro. Dude, I thought you were gonna become part of the compost, which you worship <laughs> and shit. Man, you're, you're here. So good to see you. One of you guys go ahead and roll me a d6. That's definitely you, man. One of I you don't guys. Want any more responsibility. Tomorrow's got it. That's a six, bro. That's the oh, perfect it's a nat goal. six. It's the nat perfect six. <laughs> Hi, Mara. You two are finally together. Your turtles are basically holding hands how close you are next to each other. As you swim, you come across another clearing, and in the middle of the clearing is floating a golden orb that kind of looks like an eyeball. And it's just floating there. Just floating. <laughs> Keanu. Yeah, man. I may be fucking lit, bro. But that looks like a golden eye to me, bro. <laughs> And that's never a fucking bad thing, bro. I'm going for it. I'll hold your legs. <laughs> you got my back, bro. <laughs> wait, is it? Wait, what is it, Kaylee? It's, it's just... the golden eye. <laughs> Who touches it? I touch that's... it. Make a ah! dexterity saving throw. 16. Saving throw. I should have touched it. Damn it. my friends <laughs> you my friends i'm so excited tpk tpk it's not a tpk you reach out and touch the eye you are sucked into this golden iris for six minutes oh, once you are sucked no. in your turtle gets confused and dashes off back where it came from you are in this eyeball. Keanu, you see your friend get sucked inside. You can see him inside the eye. And you know eye. it's for six minutes for somehow. And I just see him like lonely in there and just yep. helpless. Yep. And there's an eye. It's just an orb. Just an orb. Do, do, I, I, feel like I, could, do I feel like I could grab this orb and get 
my friend. Make an Arcana check. I would love to. <laughs> I believe in you, Keanu. I know you do. I'm making fun of me, Luke. I'm not making fun of you. I, I'm trying to give you a representation. <laughs> That's what Eight. happened to me, literally. Eight. That's exactly you what I'm trying to say. cannot make heads or tails of this eyeball. You're not totally sure whether or not you can get your friend out. I, I totally understand this eyeball, and I grab it. Cool. You grab it. You have the eyeball, and you have oh, your friend. I saved my friend. <laughs> We're going to move what? on to Skylar. <laughs> Wait, can I, can I role play for like 30 seconds? Oh, yeah, go for it. Oh, buddy. BT. I need some wisdom, man. It's dredging up all these old feelings with this turtle named uh, Trinity. Can you just help <laughs> me? Give me some advice. In the distant corner of your mind, you hear a voice say, Just let it go, bro. I let everything go. I don't want to go. <laughs> okay. I let it go. He goes, I let the orb go. And do you swim on? No. I sit and I contemplate my existential existence <laughs> for 20 minutes. Okay. Sure, you can do that. <laughs> As you sit and contemplate, you said for 20 minutes? 20 minutes. All right, we're going to move to Skylar while you do that. Skylar, please roll me a d4. One. <laughs> then Her face then just went like, what the fuck, bro? In the corner. <laughs> oh, no, here's the thing. It could have been a hell of a lot worse. Natty ice, bro. Natty one. ice. <laughs> natty one. You got that natty one. Brad, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Let's do it. Yo, I actually okay. finished the bag. I Dude, that was a That's lot of jungle impressive. juice. That was a lot of jungle juice. Dude. Skylar. This Dude, happens. A party, bro. It's life. So quickly. Life is party, bros. <laughs> yes, DM, please. This happens so quickly. You can barely comprehend what's happening. Your turtle dashes through, and all of a sudden, this geyser full of bubbles just burst from the ground and emerges and immerses immerses yeah you and your turtle inside this shower of bubbles oh. i need you to make a con save for me 14 oh my god what are all these bubbles doing here you said 14 i have a yes, plus sir. four bonus that is a 15 ah! a 15 very nice okay so you just zoom straight through the bubbles. You don't take any damage. Uh-oh. But one weird thing does happen. You look to your left, and all of a sudden, you see a ghost. A ghost of a merfolk who just kind of is sitting there staring at you. It's kind of like 10 feet to your left. And as you're zooming across, it just stays there. Just looking, doesn't talk. Hey, Mr. Ghost, what are you doing over here? Doesn't say anything. Are you okay? Are you lost? Just looks at you. Have you, you seen my this friend ghost Carl? Is a... Kind of get the feeling this ghost is just along for the ride now, dude. Do you have any sweet treasure for me, Mr. Ghost? <laughs> As you continue interviewing your ghost that will never respond to your question, <laughs> we're going to switch over it will to... Never respond. <laughs> okay, <laughs> bye. That was <laughs> DM response I've ever heard in my life. I'm not going to waste your time. The ghost is not going to talk to you. The ghost will never respond. <laughs> BT, where are you, bro? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna over. switch quickly <laughs> over to Keanu. 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 Oh my God. Six Keanu. Minutes, <laughs> six minutes into your meditation, no, she, BT, can't. Poof, she tried to end an hour ago. She can't do it. Let's go. And your turtle's still there because I'm assuming you're meditating on your turtle. 
BT <laughs> appears next to you and you're just sitting there chilling out. You see that your friend is just doing nothing. Keanu, bro. Why are you not moving, bro? I thought you were dead. I thought you were dead, man. Dead? Bro, I was just shit, in the orb, man. bro. We gotta find fucking Carl, bro. You were like, were you like trapped in an orb? I'm gonna be honest, bro. I don't really know. It was like weird and empty, but like, let's fucking go. Were you offered the blue pill or the red? <laughs> fucking bro, I was offered neither and accepted neither. Oh, that was the key. That's what he should have done. Taken neither. Damn it. You must know the system and exist within the system simultaneously. God, you're so much smarter than fucking Neo. All right, man. Let's go. <laughs> As you grab your buddy and throw him on your turtle, you take off. L Levi is dead on his turtle not actually but you know dead on his turtle his turtle <laughs> emerges from the kelp Skylar your turtle emerges from the kelp along with your really weird little stowaway ghost friend BT my, my ghost and friend Keanu. Came with me? oh yeah your ghost friend is there to stay bro <laughs> and what's BT your name, and Keanu. ghost friend doesn't say anything BT and Keanu emerge <laughs> all three of you Bro. emerge and in front of you you see we'll go into more detail later but you see what remains of an ancient mermaid civilization and a giant glass dome in the middle of this city and your friend Levi who is dying atop his turtle he's dying where, where? he's it. dying where he's dying where on top of your turtle <laughs> And that is where we are going to end it for tonight. Yay. Okay. Fucking cut, bro.